All right, my reaction to the college football selection committee's decisions. Uh, I think they got it right. It's easy in this day and age to get onto your soapbox and be angry about every decision that's made. But I think ultimately the college football playoff committee has to balance out two decisions whenever they set the college football playoff committee. Best and most deserving. Who is the best team and who is the most deserving team? And sometimes those correspond. Alabama and Clemson were the best and the most deserving teams. They were the one and two. The only regret I would have as a larger media culture is I think we didn't debate Notre Dame enough. I think there's a legitimate debate to be had about whether Notre Dame is good enough that their deserving 12-0 schedule was worthy of being put into the college football playoff. Because I think Notre Dame is substantially worse than the other teams that we were considering down the stretch. I think Ohio State would beat Notre Dame. I think Georgia would beat Notre Dame. I think Oklahoma would beat Notre Dame. I think Clemson would beat Notre Dame. And I think Alabama would beat Notre Dame. So I think there should have been more discussion about whether or not Notre Dame belonged given the fact they only played 12 games, given the fact that many of those games they were not that impressive in, given the fact of what happened last time we put Notre Dame in a major signature game like this and they played Alabama and they got waxed off the field. I don't believe that Notre Dame has a chance to beat Clemson. I know they would not have been able to beat Alabama. I think it would have been ugly. I think it would have been really ugly and I think that's a debate that was worth having. Having said that, I think the committee got it right because I do think of the three teams that were left battling for the thir- fourth spot, ultimately I think you can't say to Notre Dame, you're 12-0 and but we don't believe in you. There's no way to leave them out. Stop talking about UCF. All due respect to UCF. They're not good. UCF is an 8-4, eight and, 9-3 eight and football team if they played in the SEC. I'm not sure that they would be 8-4. and four. I think Missouri went 8-4 and four in the SEC. I think Missouri would run UCF off the field. I don't think it would be a close game. I think Missouri would win the game by 20 points. It's not in any way remotely interesting that UCF should be in the running. They aren't. They would get crushed. Stop with the UCF talk. Um, here is, I think you had to put Notre Dame in at 12-0. and But I think the debate should have been more robust than it was. And I also think Notre Dame should have been the four. I think Notre Dame should be playing against Alabama because I think Oklahoma is a lot better than Notre Dame. So if I were seeding, I would have put Notre Dame at four and I would have narrowly gotten Notre Dame in above Georgia because I would have ultimately said, you know what, Notre Dame went 12-0. and They couldn't have done any more and Georgia could have done more. I think Georgia's better but ultimately I kept coming back the more I thought about it to that performance against the LSU and LSU rolled, rolled, dominated, destroyed Georgia. And as good as Georgia looked against Alabama, they can't explain to me why they were that bad against LSU. I think LSU is just a pretty good SEC team. LSU did not roll that many other good teams all year. And they dominated and destroyed in that game, Georgia. It was not a close contest. And so as a result, I think that Georgia had already put their mulligan in and they had to beat Alabama to get in. Maybe if it had gone to like seven overtimes or something like that, I would have reconsidered. But I'm telling you that the committee got it right because Oklahoma should have certainly been in over Ohio State. Now, you all know my preference is an eight-team playoff. I think you should take the top eight teams in the college football selection committee's rankings Right now, that would mean Alabama going up against UCF. That would mean number two, Clemson, going up against... What's the, what's the overall rankings right now? Let me pull them up right here because I want to continue to beat this drum until eventually it happens. I'd be signed, fine signing the paperwork to never expand but beyond eight. Alabama against UCF. Clemson against Michigan. Notre Dame against Ohio State. And Oklahoma against Georgia. That's what should happen. And the first four 
in the playoff rankings should get to host it at home. Uh, Alabama, Clemson, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma should all be hosting home playoff games. That would be amazing to see. That would be a incredible breakdown. It would be fantastic for college football fans everywhere. That's what I would like to see is an 18 playoff. But given all of the circumstances, I think they got it right.